asks you this very deep philosophical question. It may take you time to answer it, and I want you to go deep into your mind about this thing. This is my question to you. If you're sitting in the living room of your home, where is your head if you're sitting in the living room? Have you thought about it? Do you have an answer for me? You probably think that's a silly question. So why would you ask something like that? If my body is in the living room, then my head is in the living room. If my head is in the living room, then my body is in the living room. <laughs> if I'm alive, yes, that's actually the answer. But why is there such a discrepancy and such a great issue when it comes down to Jesus Christ sitting at the right hand of the Father and the body of Christ is disjointed from Him. Well, let's look at what the Word of God said in Ephesians 2.6. Look what it says, beloved. And, meaning God, and God has raised us up together and made us to sit together. Where? Where is God sitting together? In heavenly places. Where? In Christ Jesus. We're sitting now in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Beloved, where Christ is, so is his body. Amen? Does that make sense? I think it does. The only way that it doesn't make sense if we think of the old sci-fi movies where uh, headless people are walking around and attacking the town and foolishness like that. But beloved, when you put it together, you recognize that what God says in His Word is very real. That you now sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Beloved, God wants you to know this a necessity of one's need of the other. God's Jesus as the head and the church as the body. Not as though Christ needs us, but we are needful to Christ to fulfill God's plan, the head and the body. Beloved, this is a concept of truth even though we may not know how it actually is displayed or how it actually is put together or, or, or worked out. We may not know it, but what exists is the truth of what God says. Think of this. How is this possible? Yet, I'm physically here. But by faith, God says that I am in Christ Jesus in heavenly places within Him. Beloved, it's not about knowing how that works is just knowing by faith that it does work. We are in a faith walk. And beloved, if you would allow my mind to just 
be free just for a moment and be expanded my deal would be this Jesus said I go to prepare a place for you that you might be where I am maybe when the Word of God says that we are now in heavenly places Maybe it could be our new bodies that awaits us. And at a twinkling of an eye, one day, we will be united with those new bodies that have already been prepared for us by the Lord Jesus Christ as he said he would. Beloved, that's only a concept. I don't know if that's actually the truth, but what I do know is true, that I now sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus because the word tells me so. If it's a shadow of my new body, that is awaiting me, I don't know. Sitting in reservation for me, and God sees it as already done, so that body that awaits us is already prepared and already ready for us to receive it. In other words, it has been reserved for us. Amen? You ever got a table reserved for you at a restaurant? Nobody can sit on that table because you have reserved it. It is waiting for you. Though you're not sitting in it now, the staff at that restaurant already see you there and who's going to be sitting there. And I believe the same way God sees us already there in Christ Jesus. Beloved, our God is good. He's full of love and mercy. He wants to show us off. He's such a gracious and loving God. Beloved, be blessed this day in Jesus' name.